Hi everybody. We are having a beautiful fall day here in the Appalachian Mountains. And so I thought it might be fun to use some of our past Sketchbox tools to make a gorgeous fall leaf. I've already sketched it out. And uh, this is the Sketchbox exclusive Rembrandt Hot Press um, watercolor paper which has got a very smooth surface from it being a hot press. There's not a lot of texture to it. So colors should flow and move beautifully. And then we're also using the Derwent Sketchbox Intense 6 set of professional quality um, watercolor pencils. And the Inktense are really great because they activate with water. They go on like a colored pencil and then you can bring your brush with water to then activate the paint. And once the paint's been activated and dries down, it's permanent. So you can layer colors on top of one another to be able to get a really beautiful um, effect as well as change colors. So layering yellow and red would show an orange for you. And so we're gonna start here with a olive green, which is pencil number 1540. And we're just gonna bring a little bit of green edging into our leaf to show that change. And we just wanna color it in just a little bit. And you can really control how the coloring sits by how light or heavy handed you are with your pencil. And so going very light, of course, is going to give you a very light paint and going very dark is going to give you a very bold paint. And that makes it really fun to play around with. And we're just going to go showing that the white, the leaf is moving from its green stage. And then of course, you know, the leaves naturally turn from that green stage over into a yellow. And so we're just going to bring that yellow color through. And the veining through. We're going to bring that on up into the top and part of what I want to show is that crossover from the yellow to a vibrant orange and then ending in a red tone. So while we're gonna have that golden yellow color, which is pencil number 0230 of the Derwent Ink Tents from Sketchbox, we're gonna go a little heavier here I'm going to start to bring it just a little down. But then we're going to move on to the Derwent Hot Red 0410. And we're going to outline the rest of the leaf here. Now, there are lots of different techniques that you can do with watercolor. You can start with the dry paper like I'm doing today, or you can do a wet on wet, which is a beautiful technique and really lets it allows the to bloom across the page when you're touching it with a brush and paint. Um, pencils don't tend to work that well on a wet on wet situation because uh, the pencil itself becomes very mushy. And so that's something that you really have to be quite careful of. And you'll see I'm layering that red right over the yellow where it can blend in. And that should give me a stunning orange. We want the red to really just become a very bold red here at the end. So we're just going a little bit heavier here to really bring it in. And then we're just going to do 
the deep rose number 0710. You just really want to bring that in with the veining. The veining is a part of the leaf. And normally I would do that kind of a splotch with a freckle, with a flick of the water, but with the pencil crayon, you're not able to really flick the paint. This is the Grabby Premium Synthetic Quill in a number zero, and that's what we're going to use today. So we're just going to start by a little wedge to the splotches, and you can see how that ink touch just becomes so vivid. That really comes to life on the page. And it goes from being quite um, a muted looking pencil to a vibrant color. And the thing that's nice about that is that these become permanent once they're wet and have dried onto the page. It's going to solidly be there, just as if you had painted it in ink, which is where it comes through with the ink tense pigments. And the only downside to that is that if you mess up, you're not going to be able to go in and lift it like you might want to do on a normal watercoloring painting where you're wanting to uh, lift up a mistake or fix something that's gone awry. And you can just see where it gets that beautiful blend of the colors. Once that water hits it, it just really comes to life. And I want that bit of bleed between my colors going from the green to the yellow to the orange. I want them to cross over and mesh into each other. The thing that makes working with a watercolor pencil really fun is that you can get so precise on your drawing and yet still have a beautiful mix of watercolor as it comes to life. There's our beautiful yellow, orange, red fall leaf. I'm just going to let just a little bit of that red get into the tip there. So that it looks like it's starting to brown out just a little bit. See how it brings the veining to life? And there we have it. A beautiful fall leaf. Thanks everybody for hanging out. And thanks to Sketchbox for some really cool toys. And if you've never subscribed to Sketchbox, I really highly recommend it. Uh, the fun thing about Sketchbox is that uh, you can skip months. So if you are looking at the preview and you don't like the particular medium that's going to be coming through or it's something that's not an interest to you, you can just skip that month and wait for the mediums that you are enjoying. Like for me, watercolors is my preferred medium. And so those are the boxes I tend to lean towards, but it's also a great way to try out new mediums and things that you maybe have never played with before. These are the six different colors that came in the ink tents package and how beautifully so many of them went on our painting today. All right, that's it. Have a great day and happy fall.